how else would you get ready for a Christmas Eve? Well, I think it's pretty obvious that I'm not ready yet. It's like 8.30 p.m. here and I'm not ready. But people are gonna be coming here at like 10 p.m. So I have time. I still need to do some guacamole. And while we're cooking, we're just listening to Hamilton because how else would you get ready for Christmas? I might still be on my PJs. Well, I'm ready now. We're waiting for our grandparents to stop by. This this Christmas, gonna, Christmas Eve is gonna look a little bit different because it's gonna be few people. Um, and tomorrow we're gonna go hang out with the rest of the family that we couldn't get to see t tonight. So, I'm excited. I guess I forgot to mention it's summer here and it's so hot. I don't know if you can hear, but my fan is on max. So... baked for the first time in her life one of those they're called pan dulce we usually eat them around christmas back in argentina and they were amazing i oh. know i think the dog might have gotten depressed because he thinks we're not taking him because he's holding a toy but he's not playing with it Debbie, he doesn't react to anything, but it's fine. Oh my gosh, you're boring. actually rented a house like far away from the city where we could all quarantine together like all of us and my little cousins and I think it was an amazing idea and we went there for New Year's Eve father started doing kind of late the barbecue which was like the New Year's dinner and we were supposed to of course be eating before 12 but somehow we ended up eating after we toasted to the new year so i guess in a way we started the year with food so that's amazing isn't it <laughs> well as you can see it's my first monday off of the semester and it's raining like crazy but it's fine because that gives me time to catch up on the book club read! Yay! Well, this is me after having slept, what, four hours. This is my last day here. I want to enjoy the sun as much as I can. So I woke up at like 7.30. It's already 8. We're doing coffee. Much needed. And then I'm going to be heading home, LA home, on Sunday. So. It's gonna be an exhausting week. 
but we got this. It's a Thursday right now, so we made it through more than half of it. First week of class, and we're doing fine. From the whole trip, my favorite part was trying to fit a lot of food in one suitcase. And honestly, it was worth it. Because, guys, the food is amazing. Argentinian food is my favorite food in the whole wide world. So I'm going to say, yeah, it was a great choice. Mm -hmm. 